Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Centurion Graphics. Today we're going to be talking about how to change the colour of your vector artwork to black and white on Adobe Illustrator. First open Adobe Illustrator and make a new document by pressing file and new. You'll then be taken to this screen here. Before you click create, click advanced options and check that the colour mode is set to CMYK and not RGB. Then press create. Then you want to go over to your workspace area to make sure you've got this colour window. Your workspace may look different to ours, you can change it by pressing this box here. We've got ours set to printing and proofing just because we prefer it, but you can change that to whatever you prefer. If you don't have this colour window, press window and make sure that the colour window is ticked and it should appear. Then you want to get your artwork, so I'll just copy and paste this over here and zoom in so you can properly see your artwork by using this zoom tool then press the selection tool and highlight all your artwork and ungroup it by pressing Control and shift and g press this a few times to make sure that everything is ungrouped then make sure you are on either the fill color or the stroke color depending on what you want to change the fill color is the middle color and the stroke is the outer part we are changing the fill color on this, on this occasion so we want to press the colour we want to change and change the C, M and Y colour to 0% and the K colour to 100% and do that for each part of your image. If you have multiple parts that are the same colour you can change them all to black all at once to save time. To do this press one of the objects you are changing, press select then same, then if you are changing the fill colour press fill and if you are wanting to change the stroke colours press stroke. We're changing the fill colour so we'll press fill. Then change CMY to 0% and K to 100%. Do this for all your art and it should all be black and white. So hopefully this has helped you to be able to change the colour of your artwork to black and white. Feel free to have a look at some of our other tutorials at Centurion Graphics.